Good morning, welcome to Witches and Swins and Us. Today is Friday the 12th of May. Well done. Hello. George had to have a day off yesterday because he was having medication for his number twos and had a really bad tummy. So he was off, but today we have got George's EHCP review, which is Educational Healthcare Plan. So, right, in a minute. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you a little video of the other day where we went for a walk and I nearly killed everybody. And then we'll come back to today's video. Just want, didn't wanna lose the little memory, so there's a little tiny walk, it's like two minutes long. So if you enjoy some beautiful scenery and Amy getting mad at me, have a quick watch because it's pretty funny. And we'll come back in a minute and we'll talk more about the EHCP. George has gone to the toilet several times now after his day off yesterday. And yeah, so the EHCP review today. So let's go. George's chair math. <laughs> Because they used to use it to put cattle in it. Right, you're going to go to the river now? Yeah. River now? Yeah. Come on now. Whoa. Big stones. Keep going now, we're not going on this bit. He looked mad. Today is now Saturday. We're not really good at this vlogging business. The EHCP was cancelled due to an incident in George's classroom and they didn't have the staff for his main teacher to leave the class to be able to do the EHCP. So that's going to have to be rescheduled. It's really nice weather today and we're just spending the day chilled out at home. And George is pretty much just watching his tablet. Matthew's pretty much just playing his games. And Amy had a doctor's appointment, which we think she's now on the mend. Hello. I said we're not very good at vlogging. We started to vlog Friday morning because the EHCP was cancelled, which is what we were going to talk about. There's not really much point at the moment because we didn't have the meeting. True. I'd have added in our little walk though where you were raging because and I've checked with Amy she wanted me to put that video on just because I thought it was really funny it was funny but I wasn't going to make a video out of it was I a vlog it was more just like a little clip for us because I think people are probably bored of our walk so it's two minutes I'll cut it down to like two minutes 30 seconds 
But yeah, if you haven't watched the beginning of this video, just go back and watch it because it's worth it just for Amy's Fuming. bit near the end of the video. Why would you do that to me? So you might enjoy it if you enjoyed that. What's been happening with you? Because we we haven't done many videos because you've been pretty much unwell for like six weeks, haven't you? Pretty much. Yeah, so I had flu, then I had tonsillitis, and then um, went straight from the tonsillitis into a cold and then a chest infection. And then for the last two and a half, three weeks, both my ears were really hurting and not my tonsils, but the back of my throat was really hurting. So then I finally gave in after trying stuff at home and went to the doctors and I've got ear infections in both ears and I had a throat infection so now I'm on but not tonsillitis but not tonsillitis no he said the back of my throat was red inflamed and blistered so it was an infection so he said it's all sort of connected so now I'm on nasal spray and my second lot of antibiotics and you're feeling a bit better though yeah, just my, my throat feels a lot better. My ears are just really hurting because there was blood in this ear. Because um, he said it was a perforated eardrum. And then this ear um, had fluid and he said it looked really dull. Hopefully you're on the mend now. So yeah, I've had like... Six or eight weeks of not being well. Yeah. If you can hear us over the noisy boy here. With his tablet blaring. Matthew's gone upstairs um, playing his game. I think just because he wants to charge it, isn't it? And I was sort of glad the EHCP got cancelled yesterday because. Um, you didn't feel well for a start, you were still no. worse. And my mood has been meh. You get, it's not surprising when you get a bit fed up when you've been ill for like two months coming on for. Yeah, so I literally just spent the day in bed yesterday. And I just tidied up the back garden. George, as well, this week, we had some problems with his constipation, so we had to get my medicine at the beginning of the week, and he missed a day at school on Thursday. Stop hitting that screen. Yeah, I felt really sorry for him, though, because you could tell that he was in a lot of discomfort. So he was in school for less than an hour, and then he came home and... Um, regularly emptied his bowels then throughout the day and then he was fine when he went in yesterday had a few more bowel movements so he's a lot brighter he's back to his normal self hi george hey hey jack and the jack and the beanstalk jack and the beanstalk tell me mommy saw jack and the beanstalk turn that down it's too loud your tablet's too loud <laughs> That's better. Ooh. That's better. Adam. Yes, my love. Like Amy doesn't like it because it's 19 degrees and it's beautiful outside. I absolutely love it. I don't know what it's like where you are, but this is about as good as it gets in England. Gross. I'll show you. So yeah, this is about as nice as it gets. Look at George's Acer tree. If you like Acer trees. And he goes hiding under there. And putting things on the branches and stuff. I did do the decking this week. Okay. Okay. Replaced the wood. And cut the weeds no. back. Back there. You do like having a day where I'm not doing anything, though, don't you? Yeah. Or we're just chilling. He's been a lot happier in the garden, hasn't he? So maybe it's because I tidied it a bit. I think I, I like having days like this because, unlike last weekend, I wasn't fuming at you oh. for taking us but on ridiculous... It wasn't long. Let's put that right, though. It wasn't long. It was the elevation that you struggled with with your legs. But you did really, really well to finish it. Really well because it wasn't an easy climb up that hill. I didn't have a choice then. No. It was on the way down that I could. I was looking at the back of her head because she was ahead of me, and I thought she's raging, she's mad, and she uh, she wasn't best pleased. But 
What annoyed me the most was when somebody commented afterwards where you put it and said, you didn't know that you could park by the pub and then just take the flat walk across and get there the same way. And I was like, why would you do that? Why? Well, because I wanted to go to the pound at the top. And it's really good exercise and you did really, really well. But yeah, we got him just being George and Matthew's being a teenager upstairs. So yeah, we'll catch in in a little bit if anything else happens today. Hello, I just thought I'd um, finish today's vlog. Um, the boys are in bed and we are watching our favorite program at the moment. And because it's been Adam's two weeks off, we are absolutely flying through it. So I said, we're gonna have to prepare for something new to watch. Um, it's called Alaska, The Last Frontier. And um, just paused it whilst Adam makes his Christmas pudding. Yuck, with custard, yuck. Um, each to their own though. So Adam just told me to ask, um, who did you say again? David. David. David from the Shores and Nancy. David and Nancy, um, have you ever been to Alaska? So yeah, so that was our vlog for today and um, not sure what we're doing tomorrow. I don't like warm weather, so I'll try and not go anywhere, but there we go. Um, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Amy's not a of Christmas pudding. Oh. That's Christmas pudding. There's mine with the custard. Amy's just gonna have some custard. I'm not a fan. I don't understand why people like it. It's just nice, it's fruit. This one's got, to be fair, eat it with a bit of custard. Honestly, dip it in a bit of custard or in it. Get your custard on it first. Cause you're eating it dry, which isn't the best. So this one says yeah. Christmas pudding made with Juicy wine fruits, Canadian mixed peel, and a dash of cider, rum, and brandy. That's probably why you don't like it, because it's quite bitter. But I've been waiting for five months now to eat this Christmas pudding, because Amy didn't eat it. And she always says, no thanks. So, I'm going to eat it whilst we watch Alaska's Last Frontier. The custard's nice. Christmas pudding's strange. Yeah, it's not good. Do any of you eat Christmas pudding? Let us know. Probably not in May, but let us know in the comments. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.